Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Keith Thompson. And like always, I like to talk about the articles in the news regarding Christianity that stick out. And obviously, I'm going to talk about this here. Uh, a lot of you guys were actually right. Uh, I, a lot of you guys posted on my last video about Joshua Harris. And I was reading the comments, and a lot of you guys were saying the next thing that's coming is him actually coming out. Well, it looks like we're one step closer to that. Uh, after kissing Christianity goodbye, Joshua Harris joins Vancouver's LGBTQ Pride Parade. Okay, and a lot of you guys predicted this happening. And uh, what we see is a man. This is a great example, a great example of what it is to be cursed. Because right now, right now, if I were to sit down with Joshua Harris with the scriptures open, the same scriptures that for the past 20 years he referenced in his ministries, his preaching, his books. If I were to open that book up in front of him and say, Josh, you remember what the Bible said about people that were sexually immoral, sexually immoral. Because we're not just talking about homosexuality, because a lot of people like to look at when it comes in regards to Christianity, like to look at gays, homosexuals as the all be all when it comes to immorality immoral behavior but that's not what the word of God says okay we've also have to talk about those who are fornicating okay so so a lot of times homosexuals like to 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 credit Christians as attacking only homosexuals but that's not the case okay um, it's just one in a, a group of other things that can send you to hell um, but in this case if I were to sit down with him and talk to him about what the scriptures say about what happens to those who live this type of lifestyle. He wouldn't want to hear it. He wouldn't want to hear it. He's been living a lie his whole life. And I'm sure that's the issue that came up with the divorce to his wife. I, I mean, who knows? I mean, I do believe the next step is him actually coming out and claiming that he's been a homosexual his whole life and that he is accept. Uh, he's coming out now. That's the next thing to come. I do believe. And so you can just imagine what was going on in this marriage. Uh, but but sin, it's sad because sin wrecks lives. It wrecks families. Could you, could you imagine this man who we presume raised his children um, in the fear of the Lord to believe in Christ? Uh, and now their dad is, is itching towards coming out as a homosexual. I mean, imagine how that must affect the children. I mean, he's, he's, he just seems as though, it, like, when you look at his face, it's like a weight has just been lifted off his shoulders. I'm done with that Christianity thing. I'm done. Now I can be my true self. That's, that's the essence of what it is to be cursed. He cannot see that he's, he's in danger of hellfire. He can't see it. Because he's blinded by the God of this world. He's blinded. It's a very it's a very sad thing. It's a scary thing is what it is. And it should put the fear of the Lord into your heart because <clears throat> it's it's a terrifying thing to have tasted, to have tasted Christ and then to turn your back on him. These people, these type of people are most to be pitied, even more so than those who have lived their whole lives as atheists. OK, because he, he tasted he, he was one who was in the scriptures. He was around godly people. He was around the John Pipers. OK, he was around these type of men. He knew them. He tasted it and he turned his back. And when he gets to hell, if he doesn't repent, if he get, when he gets to hell, he will hate himself. He will hate himself. Um, yeah, but uh, it's. You guys predicted it. I thought, you know, okay, well, you know, he's uh, he's he's given up on Christ, but I I just didn't think that he would, that it was. I didn't. I just. I don't know. I wasn't thinking that. I just wasn't thinking that. The man was married twenty years. Hey, this is a sick, sick world, sick world, and it's 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 scary to know that she could have his wife could have been married um, without knowing to a man who was gay. Their old marriage. Fighting with these desires this whole marriage. Who knows what he did outside of the marriage behind her back? Okay. Because I don't care what anyone says. If someone would do this, if someone would 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 dwell into this type of <clears throat> uh you know, carnality, there's no telling what they were doing in the marriage.
okay um, this is why I say you better make sure that your spouse is truly Christian I don't you know, I, I, you know none of this well you know she kind of sings in well I, I think she's Christian uh, listen you better make sure because I'm sure his wife thought years ago I'm married to a Christian man and now look what's happened all right guys thank you for listening